What up, people? It's Nick Ops here, and today I want to talk about something very important addressing the Mortal Kombat community compared to the rest of the FGC. I have already done three takes of this video because I kind of find it hard to make the point without offending the rest of the FGC. It's not really my goal to do that at all. And I hope that it doesn't come across that way because like everything on my channel, I always just try to keep it real. But I know the tech and community easily gets butt hurt and I'm not trying to offend the Guilty Gear community as well. But we're gonna talk about, you know, a tweet that was put out and, you know, people really started making fun of Mortal Kombat. I feel wrongfully because they are ignorant and we're just gonna get right into it. So let's bring up the display capture right here. So we have the Mortal Kombat Evo registrations right here. So this person that goes by the name of Fighting Games Daily, he said, I would like to make a formal apology. We are still in search for the third member of the big three of this generation. Because in this tweet here, he put, we are in the golden age of fighting games. Expect the FGC to grow immensely by the year with the big three on board. If you ever wanted to try fighting games, now is definitely the best time to do it. Which I don't think he understands like what it means to be in the FGC based off of what he's trying to make fun of. But let's go ahead and talk about this now because this sparked a whole bunch of, of course, jokes of people making fun of Mortal Kombat all in the tweets and everything. And... You know, right here where somebody is like, oh, Strive is the big three, but people are in denial. And, you know, all of these people are, you know, just making fun of the fact that Mortal Kombat right here, if we go ahead and click on this, it got number seven. As far as the total Evo registrations, it got number seven. So with the game being as big as Mortal Kombat, that looks really bad. And on some cases as you know when it comes to the competitive scene yes it can be viewed as a bad thing it can be viewed as bad news that the game is this low in the competitive scene even though it's this popular but let's go ahead and break some things down before we get into this now the reason i started this whole video over because i had a whole nother you know take on this video is because i said in the last video I made addressing this topic, I was talking about all the other games, but let me get this main thing out of the way. Mortal Kombat has never been huge in the tournament scene. It just hasn't. And you're going to get a lot of information on misinformation based off of this list that Mortal Kombat 1 is not doing well, that it's a game that's just not thriving. You're going to get a whole lot of, you know, misinformation because of this is the final list of evo and in case you don't know what evo is evo is the biggest fighting game tournament in the world it's like the super bowl or the playoffs of fighting games it's the biggest one so one of the biggest fighting games getting number seven can be viewed as well hold up that's not good which you definitely can view it that way but that is not the full story that's why i say you're going to be getting misinformation so let's make one thing clear like i was saying Mortal Kombat has never, and I mean never, been big in the tournament scene. It might have had its moments. It might has have done okay. But as far as the tournament scene as a whole, it has never been huge. So for people to try to base, you know, the game's success off of the fact that it's still not huge in the tournament scene is just flat out ignorant. It's never been a huge game. And you can say it's for multiple reasons, the games is that and the other, but I personally think the main reason is the fact that the games had short life cycles. As far as Street Fighter, Tekken, you know, King of Fighters, those are games that you could play for years, years upon end, and completely learn, master the craft of the game and all that stuff. You could get very good at those games and you had a lot of time to play them. But as far as the NRS games, those games had two year life cycles. Like you went from MK9 to Injustice 1 to MK10 to Injustice 2. And the games had two year life cycles besides 
besides the newest MKs, which, you know, I think, yeah, when we go to MK1, MK1 had the longest time to come out, but it wasn't still that long. It was like, what, three instead of two? So when you have these short life cycles in these games, it deters people from wanting to play them competitively because why would you invest your all if you are somebody who just aims to be a competitive player, why would you invest your all in a game when you know the game is going to be replaced in two years? Now, with the release of MK11, they said that they were going to stop doing that. There's a whole clip and everything of them talking about that, how they wanted the game to last longer and everything because they wanted their competitive scene to, you know, grow. I'm guessing that's the only reason for them to make the game last as long. But they flat out lied or took it back. Now, we don't know if it was because of COVID, all that stuff, but they flat out just stopped supporting the game. So they didn't do what they said they were going to do. So they just continued this typical life cycle. So people are that are trying to act like, oh, well, since Mortal Kombat 1 is number seven, oh, the game's dead, this, that, and the other. You barely get this many players, this, that, and the other. They're just wrong. They're ignorant. And me calling... A group of people ignorant is not me attacking them. Ignorant means you don't know something. So the fact that all these people are acting like, oh, MK is not, you know, thriving because it's not popular Evo. They just don't know what they are talking about. On top of that, Evo is known in the past for treating Mortal Kombat terribly. I don't even think Mortal Kombat should be at Evo. Mortal Kombat's Evo should be Combo Breaker, honestly. Which, you know, also the game did not do well at combo breaker even though that's like the home of mk that's more alarming than the game not doing good at evo but still that doesn't change the fact that the game is still not that popular as far as tournament scene wise compared to the other games because the other games people show up tournament wise now as far as mortal kombat mortal kombat is very popular more in the casual base you know the worldwide base all that stuff you can go up to somebody see people are not understanding what you know commercial success is and how much of a role that plays just because mortal kombat is not successful in a small part of what it means to be successful in fighting games because being a big tournament game doesn't make you a very successful game i don't people got this misconception that tournaments are much bigger than they seem like do y'all not realize millions of people have bought mortal kombat in the tournament scene of mortal kombat probably at the most consists of a thousand players like at the most and even other scenes street fighters tournament scene probably consists of around three thousand maybe four thousand that's like tekken as well the tournament scene isn't really that big like i know i compared it to like the evo I know I compare Evo to like the playoffs and the Super Bowl, but it's still no Evo or I keep saying Evo. It's still no Super Bowl or no playoffs. It's just not. It is a, you know, big thing for the FGC. But as, you know, talking about the whole world, tournaments aren't that big. But Mortal Kombat is that big. You can go up to 10 random people and you could say get over here what what is that from they're gonna know where that's from you could go up to like five eight people and say hadouken or something and they're gonna know where that's from but more people are gonna know what get over here is from scorpion mortal kombat is the biggest commercial success out of any of those games and that means something and people don't realize that i'm one of the people who is like the main critique of Mortal Kombat, especially with 11, you know, I think MK11 was a terrible game. And even though I still critique this game right here, Mortal Kombat 1, I think Mortal Kombat 1 is much better than 11 was. And it has way more potential. And I think it gets made fun of way too much. And this whole Evo entrance thing is just another thing for people to try to tear Mortal Kombat down when honestly it's not a big deal because it changes nothing. Yes, would it be? better for the fgc because the fgc is already not that big of a community anyway that's why i said the dude in the video don't understand what the fgc is like the fgc is basically people who consistently play fighting games there's going to be 
a lot of people who buy Mortal Kombat probably today. There's going to be hundreds, not thousands of people that go buy Mortal Kombat today and play the story mode and never touch online because Mortal Kombat is a commercial success. And that's why the game does so good. So just because the game doesn't do good tournament wise, we're not going to sit up here and act like the game isn't successful. People try to do anything to try to tear the game down wrongfully. Now, critiquing the game rightfully, there's nothing wrong with that. But people are out here trying to get like Steam, Steam charts. Like, oh, look how many people playing on Steam charts. This, that, and the other. Oh, the game's done. First of all, Steam charts is the worst way to judge the longevity of any game that is on consoles as well. More people play on consoles than PC. That's just obvious. I don't even know why that needs to be said, but apparently. Some people aren't smart enough to realize that games that are played on consoles are going to have a different player base. The console player base of Mortal Kombat on PS4 specifically is still very large. Yes, you have to go look at the stats by using third per, third party websites and all of that stuff. But I wish there was a way you can view it like Steam, but you can't. But you can still see if you do your research that Mortal Kombat is still successful sales wise and everything on playstation it has players so this narrative that people are trying to push that there are no players is ridiculous if you're going to critique the game at least do it the right way now we get on to this part of the video where i also talk about critiquing of the other games because i mentioned this at the beginning of the other take of the video i did but i didn't want to do that i wanted to get my point across about mk first so if we want to keep it real here let's talk about some tech and let's talk about some guilty gear since you know and we can get into the rest of these but i don't really want to get into those i want to get into Tekken and guilty gear right away because that seems to be the main game that people try to compare mortal kombat to because it and a lot of people eyes it should be in the running around there mortal kombat should be four or three so if we want to talk about Tekken, you know, since all of these other fighting game communities want to critique MK, people view Tekken it way, way too prestigiously. People act like Tekken is one of the most prestigious fighting games to play. And it is not like, and this is not me trying to offend the Tekken community. Like I said, they get but hurt really easily. And at the end of the day, I don't even know prestigiously is a word. I'll just say they wrongfully view the game as very prestigious. And it's not. I feel like Tekken, a lot of the players in the Tekken community, I'm not speaking for all of them, like to look down on Mortal Kombat and think of Street Fighter as their equal. Street Fighter is not Tekken's equal. It's just not. Street Fighter 6. And keep in mind, I'm a person that, has gotten high level at a lot of these games on the list right here, mainly the more popular ones. Street Fighter VI, Tekken 8, Guilty Gear Strive, Mortal Kombat 1. I didn't hit Celestial, Elder, you know, Masters with a lot of characters, you name it. I've gotten high level in all of these games. And I can confidently say, a thousand percent, without a shadow of a doubt, that Street Fighter VI is the best of all of these games. And Street Fighter VI has no equal. That game is beyond good. And keep in mind, I'm somebody who makes primarily Mortal Kombat content and a few Tekken videos here and there. I have no reason to be saying this if it was not true. I get no benefit from saying this. But the benefit of me knowing that I always keep it real on my channel. Street Fighter VI, bar none, when it comes to everything the game offers as a complete package, what it offers to all skill levels of players, the high levels of pros, the you know, casuals, the story mode, everything the Street Fighter does is the pinnacle of what fighting games should be. And if you disagree with that, I just think you haven't played Street Fighter or you got your head shoved up these other games too much and really need to go try some Street Fighter because Street Fighter is an amazing fighting game. And it's what other fighting games should strive to be, in my personal opinion. And it does amazing. Matter of fact, if we want to talk about all avenues of what Street Fighter has done, Street Fighter, when as far as its tournament scene, Street Fighter has given out more money with this one game. One game. You can fact check this if you do not believe me. With one game, Street Fighter 6 has given out more money than Tekken, Guilty Gear, and Mortal Kombat combined to its tournament scene. 
one game, if you combine every Tekken, competitive Tekken, every competitive Guilty Gear, every competitive... Heck, we could throw the Mortal Kombat. We could throw the Injustices in there with the Mortal Kombat. With this one game, Street Fighter has already given out almost like 3 million bucks. So that's prestigious. That's like prestigious level. Tekken's not doing those numbers as far as when it comes to money. Now, Tekken, y'all got the player base. I'll give y'all that. People will definitely go out there and play some Tekken. But to be looking down on the MK community as much as Tekken players do when they were literally making like scraps, just like MK players, for the most part, they had a pro tour in Tekken 7 that did $5,000. Like, for as big as Tekken is tournament-wise, that goes to show that, you know, it's not just tournament-wise that matters. And this game has done much better commercially. I would definitely say that for sure. Tekken has. But to still look down on the other games in that, like y'all are Street Fighters equal when the game had a lot of issues on launch, it the rage quitting problem, the terrible connection, the horrible ranking system. Like, and keep in mind, I still think Street, not Street Fighter, Tekken is a good game, but Tekken has its flaws. It's not dang near unflawed, almost like Street Fighter 6. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying Tekken's a bad game at all. I had fun playing Tekken. I enjoyed my time. But when I was playing Tekken, I thought we were going to get like another game as good as Street Fighter when Tekken came out, but we didn't. It's just not as good as street fighter in my opinion and apparently a lot of people's opinions too so then let's move on to guilty let's move on to guilty gear so guilty gear guilty gear would have the potential to be a bigger game if they marketed the game better guilty gear is never the type of game that's going to be big in a western like society or anything the game appeals to a certain type of people and i'm not going to say what those type of people are because i'm not trying to sound offensive but it does if you play guilty gear you know you look at the community the people are in the community you play the game it appeals to a certain type of people and it's not going to be the people that can like any type of people can play tech you know a lot of type of people can play Mortal Kombat, but Guilty Gear appeals to a certain audience. I feel like if they stop trying to do that, and it's probably not what you think I'm trying to say. People might assume I'm saying the words, but if Guilty Gear appeared to appeal to a different audience, then it probably could do better. But the game still does great, but it will never be, you know, commercially successful as Mortal Kombat. Just because Mortal Kombat is not huge in the tournament scene, we are not going to sit up here and act like Mortal Kombat is not successful. Like, that's just an ignorant thing to do. Now, keep in mind, I really like Guilty Gear as well. And I wish Guilty Gear would, you know, market better and do better things and stop trying to promote the way they do if they want to get bigger to a bigger audience. But I still think the game is fun. They're in their own lane. They're doing their thing. But I don't think Guilty Gear can be a part of the big three of fighting games. I just don't what how it is marketed and what they do with the game even though i personally think the game is very good potentially even better than tekken 8 and mortal kombat 1 it could be the second best game as far as just gameplay but it still doesn't offer as much to do as like a tekken or a street fighter 6 that's where mortal kombat lacks mainly in its features and what the game has to offer besides just playing online but to sum this whole video up, Mortal Kombat is still part of the big three if we're just talking about success. Like, people need to stop viewing tournaments as end-all, be-all, because it's just not. And it's a big part of the FGC, but it's not a big part of all the people that buy fighting games. It's just not true. And people need to do their research before they make ignorant statements, in my opinion. So... I hope you all enjoyed the video. This video is much longer than I wanted it to be. I just wanted people to understand the main part of what I said at the beginning of the video. Let me know what you think about the Evo lineup in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And Nick Ops out.